What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bexy Driver. Today is a very special guest, hey Pickles. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mads is here too, but we have Pickles. Mm -hmm. uh, Mads Lewis, everyone. Hey. Hey. Sure. I'm eating our bean pock, and I was pop, and I was putting my hair up. But anyways, I'm sure you all know her. Oh, look She's at been him. Quite, yeah. quite busy these past. Yeah, quite busy guys. Couple weeks. We'll get into that. We'll get into like the good stuff mm -hmm. towards the end. Uh -huh. But in the beginning, I think we should just open it up with how do we yeah. meet? I have no idea. Like, I, I, look, I, I don't, don't remember. remember I don't remember at all. I think we met at like Sway. Yeah. Probably. Or. Yo, that's so weird. I have no memory of that whatsoever. All right, literally, we could do all the small talk. Like, oh, how'd you start social? Yeah. I have this little. It's not even like a segment. I need to come up with a name mm. for it. But it's literally just like questions that. Mm -hmm. The fans uh, want to know. No, not even that. <laughs> like, I don't even think anyone wants to know these. But, or they don't They don't think they want to know them. Yeah. Okay, so it's late night. Mm -hmm. You're hungry. What's your midnight snack? My midnight snack? Probably, okay, if there's any fruit in the house, definitely fruit. Really? Yeah, I love fruit. Late like, night fruit kind yeah, of gal. Yeah, so I love fruit. Um, but I love peanut butter and banana. And, like, I love, really? I yeah, love, I love, love peanut, peanut butter, butter and jelly. And jelly. So like probably that or like any sandwich low key. Yeah. Would you ever throw in Nutella? Yes. Yeah. I love Nutella. Nutella's so good. Love Nutella. Also, this has nothing to do with Nutella, but do you like peanut butter? Love. Okay, so do you like marshmallows? Love. Eat a marshmallow peanut butter fluff sandwich. It's so good. What's your go-to bread um, with that sandwich? Probably just what, like just white bread. White know. bread. Yeah. Okay. Brioche bread. Brioche is so good. Gotcha. Are you a cereal? Kind of girl? Mm -hmm. I love cereal. Yeah. What's your My favorite, favorite cereal, low key, is Captain Crunch. But if I had to go the healthier route, I would probably choose Raisin Bran. And everyone freaking hates me for that. Raisin Bran. The first thing that comes to head comes to my mind when I think Raisin Bran, I think of that Victorious episode. Yes. Yeah. With Cat. Oh wait, no, it's not Cat. It's it's literally it's Tori. literally Tori. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's Tori. She, she yeah, she's eating Raisin, raisin Bran. <laughs> Do you sleep with socks on? No, I think you're weird if you sleep with socks on. Thank you. Okay, uh, easy. Easy one. Move right on. You were recently on Dixie's show, and mm -hmm. I saw that you mentioned uh, you do acting. Mm -hmm. Great actress. Um, Thank you. And you want to eventually be in a like Marvel. a Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love and Marvel. who do you want to play? Iron Man's daughter. That's so yeah. cool. I want to so bad. And you mentioned that she's like I, I didn't know that he had a daughter, and you mentioned yeah. that she was in like in the comics. Endgame. Yeah, and she's also in the comics. In the Endgame. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember seeing her in Endgame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she becomes something in the comics. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, That's yeah. So, so cool. it's like. Might as well sign up me to up. Play. That's so cool. Literally. When did you develop that love for Marvel? Um. Uh. Well, I've been to almost all of the like Avengers like world premieres, and so how do you just I, get into these world? I, premieres? I, I know like, someone from Disney. <laughs> really? Yeah, That's I'm friends so with someone. Cool. And anyways, um, the End Game world premiere was mm -hmm. literally like, like I told you, I've been to the other ones, like yeah. whatever. I went to that one, and just the way like the crowd connected. With yeah, like the characters and the emotion, all the crying are and screaming, <laughs> and just like going to a movie theater and watching that movie, and everyone being like, "Whoa, my God!" And they're like, "Yes, do it!" And like you just know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And like I don't know, it's just I love that, and I want to be able to be a character for some like of those people. Yeah. Don't you act? Yes. Don't you like um, acting? What What's your biggest like dream role? What's okay. Your goal so in no one's ever really asked me that before. So okay, it's I'm like you on the spot. I know. Let's go. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is my mm -hmm. like headset towards acting. When I came to LA, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I always think like ahead of time, and I was like, as much as I want to live in this moment of like social media and it's amazing and everything, I want to have like something that will expand mm. like something to, like long term you know because yeah, yeah, yeah. social media the app, the app can crash whenever like obviously it probably won't but um social media is not gonna last forever and mm. i'm not gonna be an True. influencer when i'm mid 30s right like I mean, you're you not gonna have like, like a family, family channel like yeah, like, yeah. A family vlog channel it's like literally if you're gonna be an adult and you're still doing social media it's just you have to have a family vlog exactly. channel. like you can't like be doing what we're doing right now i think my i want my like it's so cliche, but I kind of want like my breakout role to be like a Netflix rom com, like Noah Centineo type no, for kind real. of thing. It's like for real. play like the heartthrob, play like the basically playing myself, like the the jock in high school, yeah. like kind of just like mm -hmm. that kind of guy, and who's like people think of anything he's people uh, look at you and see like a douchebag and like yeah. whatever, and like he's you have that persona, emotions, but like yeah. you're still like a mama's boy. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly, yeah. exactly. Totally, no, I totally so see cliche. you doing that. I definitely. Like want to do Netflix as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's Marvel's such a good. Like my main, like, oh my god. Good well, in yeah, that. That's, uh, who was your idol growing up? 
my idol I don't really know I don't think I really ever had like an idol or anyone I okay. looked up to obviously my parents yeah and like Goodness my older sister even though she's not she's only two, min two minutes older so whatever because um, so cool. I'm a triplet if y'all didn't know I just like looked at my, I looked up to my parents I mean they're great parents and they always taught me a lot in life like the good and the bad and so if I had to like choose someone directly like from acting and stuff like that mm -hmm. Definitely Jennifer Aniston and Rachel yeah. McAdams. Rachel McAdams is the girl who plays in Mean Girls, Regina George. Right? So if I were to hand you this, this is the aux cord. Okay. What song are you playing? Oh, I can. I know what. I would play Misery Business. I love Paramore. Really? Yeah. Do you know what song that is? No, but I know who Paramore is. Okay. But when I don't you know that when song. this is off, so you don't get demonetized. Yeah. Listen to the song Misery Business by Misery Paramore. Business. Okay. It is so good, and I. It's so weird that like, it's actually not weird. It's very cool how like Olivia Rodrigo and like all these new artists are like kind of not like fully going into pop punk alter a pop punk alternative like rock or whatever yeah. but like they are and that's so cool that it's coming back because that's literally all I would listen to me and my sister because my dad loves that music I'm sure a lot of like young kids and their dads love that music yeah. but that is literally the only music I would listen to when I first got my when I got my first iPod that's all I would listen to because that's my dad made that's my playlist so and so there's Paramore, Blink-182, like Foo Fighters, like just all of those bands. And you kind of just fell in love with it? Yep. That's and I, so I've cool. I've always listened to that music so it's just cool that it's coming back. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? <gasps> a paranormal experience? Yeah. Um, no, but I, this is so weird. Okay, so I think I've like, because I'm a Christian so I believe in like God and like all that. Like, I'm not going to put that on y'all, but I do. And... I realized that I think I have connection with spirits. Like, I'm being, being dead ass. Like, not trying to freak you out. But, but literally, it's so weird. It gives me chills. Okay, so, I, like, warm chills. This is so weird. Okay, so I was going, I went to my great uncle's uh, funeral. That's okay. okay. Um, and so it's my, my mom's, <laughs> it's my mom's uncle. And I, like, barely knew him, like, at all. And I was sitting in, like, the crowd, and I was like, yo, why am I having, like, these weird, like, God chills on me? Like, that's so odd. And all of a sudden, I look at the stage, dead ass, see, like, a figure of him I'm being I'm so oh, serious so I'm weird. so I'm serious so right I saw a figure of him and I was like oh, okay that's weird and I was like he looks familiar and I was like wait oh my god that's him that's literally him because I, I had like a little pamphlet obviously that says like in loving memory of like you know yeah. and then I looked at my mom and I was like did he pass away with a beard on and like a beard like on his face and she was like yeah why and I was like Oh, it's so weird like Did this the figure man have a beard yes he literally like you could see like his shadow Wait, of, like, when you say beard. a figure was it like, like it wasn't like a real like you couldn't see okay. like a person like, like more of a silhouette kind no of thing? it's like a silhouette like a dark blue like black like i don't know shadow but you That's... could see like the facial features and i was like was he short and she was like yes and i'm not bullshitting y'all like i'm being That's dead scary like a few months ago or whatever i went to my ex-boyfriend's uh grandparents house in okay. um texas for thanksgiving and i felt like his grandma's spirit on me and i was like no way and they're like yeah you're sitting in her chair like where she used to sit and i was like that's so crazy and like i thought i heard her speak to me but i was like no there's no way like i can't do that she's just like hey yo like, get up you're sitting <laughs> um but i was just like i looked at his mom and i was like you know i feel her like on me and i said something and she was like no way that's crazy and like she was like that's so amazing because something I said, like, she was like, wait, no way you said that she said that. And, like, I was like, oh, my God, it's so weird. weird. And, like, I just brushed it off. So when I went to my uncle's funeral, I was like, that's weird. Because he spoke to me, like, dead ass. Mm -hmm. Like, he was like, oh, I hate that when they do that because they blew, like, this horn for something. Yeah. And I was like, that's so weird. That's so weird. And I, I don't know. It gives yeah. me warm chills. That's like, you that is chills. so weird. That's so, so it's weird not necessarily, like, paranormal activity, but, like, yeah. I encountered that. I played the Ouija board a couple times, y'all. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's not that scary. Except there's. I this... wouldn't do it. I okay, do you know it. Isaac Presley? Yes. Okay, so. Okay, so me and Addison and a ton of people, Bryce, like, we all went to this thing called Devil's Gate. And it's this place right by the Suicide Bridge in LA, by Pasadena. And we went into it it's a sewer you have to like go down these big spiral staircases down this like ladder sketch i used to always do stuff like that in arizona this is so like, fun yeah so you go into it and then we played the ouija board and we were just doing it as a joke it was all fake we weren't actually really playing it and then all of a sudden i reading reading the comments on the youtube video and somebody goes oh my god did y'all see that figure and addison was watched so she was standing like way away from us and like just watching like everything make sure there was nobody coming or anything like that i don't know what she was doing but all of a sudden person someone was like oh go to like four minutes and 23 seconds and you'll see this figure and i was like i looked at um 
Isaac and I was like no like that's just Addison and we looked it was not Addison Addison was standing next to it and we were like there's no way not that creepy oh that one just gave me the chills right. that's so weird it's creepy like I don't, I don't like know. that <laughs> I don't like that have you ever experienced paranormal activity no I don't think so I literally like I've been asked that and I like expect some weird memory to just like pop up in my head but at the end of the day like I don't I don't think so like I, I don't recall any I mean knock on wood I mean, does it count as like wood I material? Know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't think so. But mm. what what would you say your favorite conspiracy is? Conspiracy theory. Like, um, is there one I don't that just even like? No, there's just so many that there's are just so like, many. Like I love Mandela effects too. Yeah. Like you know, um, like a Kit Kat. Yeah, that's. Like, I remember there like, being a dash in the middle, like Kit Dash. Cat. I just feel stupid with those. Yeah, it's and like, it's like that never existed. It's just Kit Kat. And yeah. it's like, ew, that's so ugly. Where's the dash? Or cup of noodle? It's not cup of noodle or cup of noodle. It's just cup noodle. Do you know the so the Monopoly guy? Uh -huh. Do you know that one? Yeah, it doesn't... Wait. He doesn't have a monocle? Yeah, no, he doesn't. Like, what? Yeah, this guy that, has a monocle. This, this is bullshit. Right? He's not just blank face. That's no. so ugly. And same with Pikachu. He doesn't have a tail, doesn't he? No, he doesn't have a, a black streak on it or something. Oh, God. I don't know that one. And but it's like, like... What? I just well, feel stupid. Like, I literally don't... Even, like that conspiracy theory, it's like I feel like that conspiracy theory, the Mandela effect, is just like a fancy word for we're so oblivious. Like Yeah. <laughs> it's like when did it's this like, happen? Yeah. Like JC Penny, I think we we're talking about this on Dixie Show. JC Penny is J C P E N N Y. Yeah. But it's actually P E N N E Y. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, when the frick did Where's you the put e? the E in yeah. there? Where does that come from? What about aliens? I think aliens is probably in just like space. Is like probably like my favorite conspiracy. It's not even like a conspiracy because they're out there, like one hundred percent. I think it's they're like, out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you don't believe in aliens or like some kind of life form outside of Earth, like you're just delusional and like you're very like naive right. to think that way. Because like, ha have you seen those comparisons of like Earth and then how small we are compared to like the galaxy? Yes. Insane. Like we're so Earth, small other planets, yes. stars, mm -hmm. it's like, oh my god. Like, if you don't think that there's other living things out there, and mm -hmm. like, even potentially like a world like ours. Right. <sighs> and so like, another thing I was looking at is why did, why did they only discover 5% of our like waters? Oh, the ocean, don't why even don't, start on the why ocean. Why haven't they is, discovered a lot more? Like, just go look, like. Literally, why, <laughs> they stopped that to di like discover more of what's in outer space. And I love astrology, like astrology. What's in the I other 95% of the ocean? That's yeah. what I know. Like, what's down there? Yeah. Is there other parts of like, I don't know, the United States or just any other part of our world that's underwater that we don't oh, know God. of? Because, like, I mean, so if you think about it, eventually about. everything's gonna be underwater. I believe in that. Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully not. Hopefully in not the future, when. like not <laughs> in our lifetime. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 <laughs> dreams. What do dreams come from? Mm. What are dreams? What I don't are know, they? but my dreams are so good. I have some weird ones. I told you, I'm telling you I'm spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'll literally just, like, be laying there and I'm like, what? I'll be like, God, like, show me a sign. Like, what is this? Like, why is this happening? I'll pray, whatever. I go to bed and next thing you know, I wake up, I'm like, what the was my dream like yeah. what was I trying to learn and I was in a really hard like you know time in my life and some things were happening and you know I asked God for a sign I had this dream and in my dream I was in my home and all of a sudden a ton of spiders just started to rush into my house and then there was a ginormous earthquake biggest earthquake I've ever had in my entire life okay and I woke up and I was like what does that mean I looked it up and it supposedly means that there's someone in your life that you cannot trust and there's a certain person that you love but they're your enemy what the hell did you look up literally lots just of spiders up. big earthquake. why did I dream about <laughs> a lot of spiders and a giant earthquake in my own home? there's answers for that mm -hmm. like yes if you look up your dreams there's certain like scientific facts that show up they're like oh huh? this means this I do believe a lot of the things on the internet but so don't <laughs> yeah because that leads to my like it's like who knows these answers, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, have you ever lucid dreamed? No, I want to. Or sleep paralysis? Oh my god, sleep paralysis terrifies me. I've never had sleep I've never had, never sleep had sleep paralysis. it either, and it's like, I do not want to. I kind of want it. No! Is that weird? You're laying in bed like this, you cannot move. Yeah, but like, I just you want to experience move. it, because I know it's like all fake. And there's like this demon over you. Well, not fake, but like. This demon over you, and it's like staring at you. Yeah, but it's, it's like low-key like. If you think about it, if you just think about. Staring contest? Like, staring contest. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. What if they were like, I mean, yeah, okay, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Staring at you. laughs> think, oh, so cool. Okay, I think this, all this leads to the, 
the most important conspiracy of it all. Mm-hmm. And to kind of wrap things up, do you believe in Bigfoot? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. Like, right? Yeah, like how I mean, many? How much of the woods that, have we discovered? Literally, there's a lot of things in our world that we don't know that who That's even what I'm knows. Saying. Maybe Bigfoot's a nice thing, a nice creature, and he's a family. And I'm sure there's a species of big of feet. Something that has big feet. Uh, uh, like, I mean, come on, we had dinosaurs. How, what's plural for that? Bigfoots or big, big feet? Big, big feet. Ew. There's a lot of big feet out there. Big feet out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that stuff. Is, I used to watch those like shows that it's like chasing Bigfoot or like. I remember yeah, that show. I used to always watch that. I'm like. Oh my god, they almost Jesus. got him. Like, is yeah. that him? And I was like, yeah. probably just a guy in a suit. But I, I actually I genuinely think, like, like even just driving from, like, Arizona to California, I used to make that drive. Like, driving in that area where there's, like, literally no civilization, like, yeah. nothing, just a nothing. road and, like, mountains to the side of it. It's like, it's in those mountains, yeah. you know? Like, what the hell's back there? Yeah. Like, the things that we don't know could, I don't know. I'm so, I think I'm in too deep right now. I think we're kind of right. somewhere in, like, I just want to know everything, but at the same time, like, I believe everything until, like, I'm not gullible, but I want to right. believe everything, because it's, like, it's cool. Like, yeah, I, it's cool. It'd be so kind of boring about... if Earth just had, like, humans and, like, a couple, like, yeah. basic animals, you know? Like, yeah, I want something real. to mix it up. Like, life's kind of boring right now. Can, like, aliens come, like, down to Earth and just, <gasps> like, say what's just, up? Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Maybe aliens are so smart and, like, half the humans on this planet are aliens just watching. Thank you guys for watching Thanks this episode real. of Backseat Driver. Uh, yeah. Mads Lewis, everyone. Come on, get up here. You have anything to say? He's like, Mom, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. All right, well, thank you again. Tune in for do you do this one the of these next every, video. Do you do these every week? I literally do these whenever, honestly. Whenever I just, he feels it's just like, like it, so be ready for the next Thursdays one. Thursdays and Sundays are when I post. This will probably be this Sunday's video. Perfect. So. Happy All right. Sunday. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs> Bye.